and good vibes. As I say, we may not have a lot of people watching, but we're still gonna go out like go ahead with the show. All right, yeah, man. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead with it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this on an amazing, incredible. We're gonna make some things today. Uh, a lot of people are requesting certain kind of recipes. And um, I'm going to give you guys some new recipes and new ideas. Getting yourself ready for the season. All right? So sit back and enjoy the episode this evening with Chef Ricardo cooking. All right? Um, coming. Are we gonna, I'm just getting ready, man. This was so quick. The time is moving so fast. Pumpkin chips. I'm going to give you some pumpkin chips and some codfish. We're going to be making a green season. We're going to do a few um, episodes. All right. So it's going to be a long video today because, you know what I mean? I feel like you're just in a kitchen. kitchen, not, not a kitchen. So the kitchen, I do a few things this evening. But anyway, a good vibes. Um, hey, Craig, happy Sunday, man. You know, when you're coming on the show, you know, it's a good vibes. All right? We're just going to show you how to make a green season and get yourself ready for Thanksgiving Day because Thanksgiving Day is around, around the corner from you, you know. A few more weeks and it's Thanksgiving Day. Pumpkin chips, guys. Don't waste your pumpkin this year. All right? There are things you can do with your pumpkin at home. And um, this is one of them. You can make yourself some an amazing pumpkin chips. All right? So this year, don't waste your pumpkin. All right? So the first thing what we're going to do, all right? Let's, let's do the pumpkin first. Let's get the pumpkin and do the pumpkin first. All right? So we brought some pumpkin. I'm going to be showing you how to do the pumpkin. Pumpkin chips. So when I go to the, you can you can use any kind of pumpkin you like to use. All right. We're gonna make some pumpkin chips. We can um we're not gonna deep fry them, we're gonna ear fry them because we don't like the, too much oil. All right, so this is how it look. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, we're going to um, show you how you can also. Um, what you can do, we don't want to remove too much of the skin from it. All right, we don't want to move too much of the skin. Let me just show you exactly. We're just gonna just simple remove a little bit of the skin from the pumpkin. I don't have to show you guys how to peel pumpkin because I mean this. Yeah, I'm not have to show you how to peel pumpkin. All right. Yeah. So that's what I did with the pumpkin. I just removed some of the skin off of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, that's the pumpkin right there. Um, just, just a second. Let's remove any little bit of any little thing on it. We'll just remove them. Pumpkin chips. And I'm going to show you what's going on today in the kitchen. You can cook the pumpkin. You can do a lot of things with the pumpkin, guys. You don't have to make pumpkin chips. But, yeah, it's something new for you. 
all right and this is what i'm talking about all right let's get the big one put this ball right there and then all right yeah man so once you get your pumpkin all right yeah so i'm cutting up the pumpkin them at the moment you can cut them up any size you need you don't want to cut them up too small you want to give them a little bit of flesh all right now, pumpkin is easy to cook, you know, guys. But you can do them many kind of ways. You can rub flour upon them. You can rub cornstarch upon them for them to get crispy. But I don't want to do that. All right. I want to, I want to do it naturally. I mean, I don't want too much flour and all them things there. Yeah, we just want to keep it real and simple. Yeah. And we're not going to fry them neither because too much oil. Yeah. Pumpkin chips. Guys, here it is. So that looking good. All right. That looking excellent in the kitchen. So, got a piece more of the pumpkin left. All right, big support for the peers and back to school. I have simple for recipe here. Can um, make them at home back to school recipes uh so can we have to support the, the peer instead so that's the pumpkin guys the pumpkin is done so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a little bit of oil on it all right a little bit of whatever kind of oil i like to use with i'm using your favorite avocado oil pinch of sea salt Proper. All right. A little bit of black pepper. You know, that's your favorite, isn't it? That looking amazing. All right. Um, you can put a little bit of your favorite season. You like to use on it. All right. A little bit of your favorite season. It doesn't matter what kind of season you like, just use your favorite season. All right. Um, you can put a little bit of your favorite on it. Paprika. All right. Give it a nice, lovely little bit of color and make it nicely. All right. Now, next thing what you can also do, if you like, all right, you don't have to, it's optional. All right. Let's get your favorite. Some little bit of corn flour and coat it into some corn flour. Just a little bit. You don't have to use too much of the corn flour if you're allergic to corn flour. I'm just saying that's just like an option where you don't have to. You can just do them naturally 
if you have a person. Let me see if I have any of my favorite right here. Basil, I can put a little bit of basil on it. All right, that's just going to bring in a nice. So it's just like a spice up the there. You know? The pumpkin. Them. And they just want to coat it into it like this. Simple little recipe like this. Back to school coming. We have to support the parents them. All right? Because, you know, it's already. All right, pumpkin chips. If you never do this one before, then you can give this a try at home. Come back, leave your comments, and tell me exactly. So you can use your favorite spices, what you like to use on it. And that's all the pumpkin chips look right here, guys. All right? So you can ear fry them. And also, you can also deep fry them if you want to deep fry them. But me not, me as a person, I don't like too much oil. So I'm not going to be um, deep frying it. I'm going to um, ear fry them. All right? Ear roast them and make them nicely. Look at that. Beautiful and nice. Pumpkin chips from Chef Ricardo. Something new for you. Um, leave your comments. Tell me exactly. What do you think about the new thing? Um, all right, here it is. Pumpkin chips. All right. Yeah, man. So what we're going to do next. Get this right here. All right. I'm going to put them right here like this. Right, this won't take too long, about 20 minutes. Trust me. Um, back to school. So, some of these recipe the parents, and we need to support the parents them who are doing um back to school. All right, banana chips. Um, I did banana chips many times, but today is a different recipe. Now, I'm going to be giving you another an amazing, incredible recipe for you guys to make at home. So sit back and just enjoy the, the full episode today. All right? Yeah, man. Sit back and enjoy the episode. So this will take about 20 minutes in your air fryer. Yes, Craig, is your recipe this enough? Because you know you go already in the kitchen with it. Because you have support chef for the cooking. So we have to give you something more if you do at home. Uh, so, all right? Yeah, and this is a little bit more, you know what I mean, healthy. And the one with the arm, they go to the supermarket, into the into the um the far shop and buy something different. Pumpkin chips. So what we're going to do, we're going to air fry this. All right? Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them in the meantime and get them crispy up. But... This, let's hold on first. I don't want to rush it. And we don't get the thing right away. All right? But. Okay? All right. No, but look at this. Because I want to give you guys a recipe for um, Thanksgiving Day and also Christmas. All right? Because. That's why I'm going to be doing a long series today. This is a very long. Brown sugar is in the building. Pick up yourself every time, brown sugar. You know what I mean? And brown rice, pink rice, and black rice. All right? Now, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of season where you can also use to marinate up your fish and all them things there. So this one will go in. All right? Okay. I am going live at 1 o'clock. Um, I go live this morning for one o'clock already with my thing. Okay, you're talking about your brown sugar. All right, big up yourself. All right, here it is. We're gonna show you how to make yourself some nice, lovely green season. All right, green season. So we got right here. If you guys wanna write down the ingredients, 
All right, this one is this. Uh, we got parsley and coriander and some fresh mint into that right there. All right, and also we got some fresh thyme. We're gonna put some fresh thyme into the blender. All right, we just are putting everything in it one time. That means if you can see it's a green season with a whole heap of thyme and stuff inside of it. All right, we got the thyme. We're gonna show now exactly how to do this one. All right, we're gonna put some um spring onion inside of it. All right, this is some spring onion. We're gonna make up a like a quick green season to go on the fish. All right. And now, uh, so we're going to put some scotch bonnet pepper in it. One scotch bonnet pepper. All right. We're going to put some ginger. Some fresh organic ginger inside of it. Now we've got the sweet bell pepper. Gonna put some sweet bell pepper inside of it, like this. All right. So this is a um, green season. If you want to make some green season at home, we're gonna squeeze up some lime juice in it. All right. Yeah, man. That's some lime juice. All right. Now. Gonna put a little bit of vinegar, of about two tablespoon or three tablespoon of vinegar. Preserve it a bit longer, and then you expect it. All right. You're going to put some of your favorite inside of it. Pimento seed. All right, that's some pimento seed. It's coming up to Christmas, and that's why. I'm pushing on this recipe very quickly today. All right, we, um, we're gonna put a little bit of cloves inside of it, few cloves, good vibes. Craig is in the building, man. Um, Michelle, big up yourself. Thank you so much for passing through and sharing, you know what I mean, the love, all right? So we got all of that inside of it, um, yeah. Yeah, man, that looking good so far. Um, just a second, guys, because you know you go already. So this this one what I'm making right now is a brand new recipe. You know what I mean? I just did it when I did it a couple of weeks ago, and trust me, it was so delicious, one hundred percent. All right. So and I decided to just share back with you guys today yeah um something different on the menu today okay well on the first we must get rid of this one and not only that trees coming up to christmas and all them think that a lot of people are planning to do a lot of things at home so we are giving us some tips and ideas to prepare on ourselves ahead all right so All right, um, paprika. I'm going to put some paprika in it. A little bit of paprika. That's just gonna give it a nice like, color also. All right, um, you can use your favorite season or you like to use in it. That's gonna just bring in a little bit of flavor to it. Any kind of season you like. To. You don't have to, it's just another option. All right, yeah man, some chili, chili. Uh, so inside of it, it's bringing a nice little bit of flavor to it. All right. Excellent, Chef Ricardo. Cooking. I think we need to get something else over here. We're going to get, all right, a medium size onion.
That's the onion. All right. That looking good, guys. Honestly. Um, we're going to get some garlic. Yeah, man. We're going to get some garlic. Um, put inside of it. So we've got all of those nice natural things. So this is the garlic. We've got the vinegar. We've got lemon juice. We've got lime juice. We've got a lot of things in it, guys. Any little thing we have at home, you can just chuck in it just to get the flavor up and running the right and proper way. All right, we've got some more um, avocado oil. I'm gonna use some avocado oil in it. All right, yeah, man. Rough about, you see, a few tablespoons of avocado oil inside of it. All right. Put a few more avocado oil in it. Just to free up the blender when you're blending it. That green season, you don't want to um, overdo it too much. All right. So we got some avocado oil in it. Just Make sure it's good. Avocado oil, or you can use your favorite oil, of olive oil. Yeah, a good vibes. And then we're going to just cover it up now and blend it up, all right? You see how it looks. Because we have the vinegar in it. We got a lot of things in it, so we want to blend it. And see. In the meantime, feel free to go on the website and get one. Chefricardo.co.uk. Let's blend. <laughs> All right, let's see what I go on. John Oster, look at that, guys. Look at this. So that look nice? All right, good vibes. All right, now, I didn't put any, um, what do you call it? This one. I should have put a few in it, but we're, not, we're just going to put a few um, pepper corn right here. Put a few in it. All right. Um, also, feel free, you know what I mean, to put a tablespoon of your favorite sugar, brown sugar, organic. All right, that looking good, guys. Straight up. Let's give it another... Crank, not too long, quick one. Very, very quick and easy. Lovely. All right, you don't want to blend it too long. Look at that. Nice, isn't it? All right. Let's get our um, container. What we're going to use and put into it. Put it into the Look at this. Craig, you know you can make this and you know, get yourself ready for Christmas. All right. I make this beautiful season for the Christmas season period. All right. Cover it up and just write the date on it. Here it is. Nice, lovely green season where you guys can use at home. All right. It might say fruit and yogurt and oats, but there are some little buckle which I normally use to do stuff into. Um, also, you can freeze it. Put them into tubs and put them in your freezer. When you're cooking, you just put all that stuck in, a, in a, your sauce and all them things there. At home. Oh, yes. Thanksgiving there. Roast turkey is on the menu. All right. Yeah, man. Roast turkey is on the menu. So let's go over here now and see what's going on. All right. 
So, that's the season. But look at this. All right. That's the season. Now, this is some fish I brought from the supermarket earlier. I just want to show you what all you can use the green season and the fish. So you get a tablespoon of it. All right, nice, good two tablespoons. Just like that. All right. And just marinate it up. Um, you got a little bit of water because I didn't um, take the water from it. Just leave it to my straight up. But look at this. Just want to show you what's going on. All right. Should I make the fish them? All right. No, but take a good look at what I talk about. And now, you guys, this can last for one month in your fridge. All right. So that looking good. Mm -mm, if you simmer the flavor, it's amazing. The flavor is amazing. All right. Yeah, man. The flavor is turn up. All right. Let's get this one. All right. Nice one. So we're going to put a little bit of season. Bless up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Make sure the... Hey, Craig, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Put a little bit of paprika on it. All right. That's going to bring in a lovely flavor. Little bit of fish seasoning or whatever kind of seasoning you have at home. That's going to just bring in a lovely flavor to it. All right. Yeah, man. Um, we're gonna get some um some of your favorite. Just like this, put some spring onion. We, we already have all of this in it, but we just show you. What you can do when you have still have certain kind of ingredients here, we at home. All right, yeah. Put some of this. This is some sweet pepper. All right, that looking excellent and amazing. Honestly, you don't need to too stress yourself too much with it because we already have the natural. Not that TV, big up yourself. We still have the, the natural. Um, season and thing on it so i'm just to show you what you can do but as you can see that's it right here guys this looking amazing and fantastic and you guys can do the same thing at home look at that now look at this good this is some codfish marinating up with some green season and all them things there so that's that's beautiful so what we're gonna do as i said Back to school parents, you're welcome. You can do all them like a simple cutting. Like I put them in, in, in into this, like this, and like this. All right, we're gonna ear fry them. You can oven them, oven beat them, or you can do whatever you want to do with them. It's up to you, it's option. You got your own option. Whatever you want to do at home, you can do it. All right, good vibes. So put them in here, sir, just like this. All right, put that beautiful season. We use a whole heap of time and all sort of stuff on this spring onion and everything where you can ever think of. Yeah, man. That looking excellent right there. All right. Now... That looking good, guys. So what we're gonna do? Tip a little bit of um, avocado oil on top of it like this. All right. That make it kind of like a bit crispy. Give it that beautiful crispy look on top of it. All right. 
so that's how it look all right and what you can do is bake it now that's all you have to do bake it for off about 15 minutes in your own honestly it's gonna be an, an amazing one all right so i look take a good look guys take a very very good look in the meantime purchase yourself this one if you don't mind and support it to progress all right now number one yeah so that looking good all right so what did you think about the season this is a green season looking nice and lovely and you guys can also do this at home all right getting yourself ready for the turkey getting ready for the roast chicken and you know what i mean your fish and all them thing there and this is what you can also do at home and make yourself a nice lovely um season like this at home very simple it doesn't complicate it and trust me i know you guys can do this one so we're going to show you a lot more things during the week what you can do with this at home this season all right a few more weeks to go um what kind of pepper paprika uh we use paprika we use pepper scotch bonnet pepper spring onion any little thing you have at home these are the kind of peppers i'm using and we use this one scotch bonnet pepper we use a ginger we use a spring onion so all of these things i use i wash them off and use them to blend up so put a lot of season together garlic spring onion and you know all of those kind of things together black pepper any little natural season you have ginger lemon juice put all of them together and make this at home all right very easy and then you just put some oil in it and some vinegar inside of it put some i know you can use honey because a lot of people don't like the sugar so use the natural honey and this is how it's gonna look so when i put it in the fridge it can last about one month in your fridge put a whole lot of thyme and spring onion coriander um parsley all of those things you can use all right that's how it look right here so you can make this at home guys 100 percent you can make this at home doesn't complicate it put it in your fridge when you're marinating up your meat instead of you want to use what what uh so what what uh yeah Freya. um sorry craig <laughs> um ninja um in my ninja we're talking about my ninja ear fryer temperature um well 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 um what kind of in the air fryer um that kind the fish and i'm using i'm using i'm doing the fish and i'm doing um the what do you call it the, the pumpkin chips um well once i put it how do you just put um i just press it one number and it do everything i just press it what i'm doing in the air the ninja air fryer i didn't put on the temperature i didn't do anything i just put it um what oh that's the paper is that's grease proof paper grease proof paper okay set the number no there's no number i just use it's only have one and two i just put um you can put roast air fry um mixed chips anything you want to press it you just press the number and that's it and it just cook it Yeah, you just cook it. And just cook it. So there's there's nothing for me to do. I just press what I'm doing. Very, very easy one.
Nutritious MTV. Big up yourself. Yeah, the, the, the paper is just greaseproof paper. Right. Uh, there it is. Um, this one. Oh, yeah. I'll find back the box, Craig. So, it's um, baking sheet paper. Greaseproof paper. Yeah. Greaseproof baking paper. So you can get this to buy in a local shop or your supermarket. So instead of you put the um, I don't like put things on the what do you call it? Not the first, yeah, not the paper there. Yeah, that's the best. Bit. Um, good evening, chef. Uh, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate it. Yeah, that one you can get it in your supermarket. Are your yeah. All right. So right here, guys, let me show you what's going on. So this is the the sweet, the not the sweet, the pumpkin chips. What I'm doing by you know what I mean ear frying it. Yeah, man. So, it won't take too long. And then just, you know what I mean? Simple, delicious, and nice. All right? Yeah, good vibes. Yeah, so that greaseproof paper, you can get that for buying a local shop or your supermarket for buy. Yeah local shop and all these places all right let's touch base with this one now this one is my um coconut water with my um what do you call it okra and garlic oh yes All right. Yeah. C. Jackson, what's going on? Here it is. Coconut water, garlic, and some lime juice. All right. Beautiful one, guys. Ah. It's very slimy, Lord Chef Ricardo. And what you want to do, pour it out into your thing like this. And you want to just drink this, guys. Yeah. Get yourself a copy of the book. All right. Here it is. This is amazing. Coconut water, garlic, and some lime juice. All right. So you can see it start to set. All right. Yeah, man, it start to set. So, yeah, man. Ah, that is amazing, guys. That one is amazing. It's fantastic. The flavor behind it is totally different. All right, give me a few more minutes and that will be ready. Yeah, man.
Oh yes, yeah, she she Jackson, big up herself. That's that's my um new drink for 2023. All right, things looking good. So, yeah, man, pumpkin chips, I'm coming on good, guys. Yeah. I don't know if you guys want to see the pumpkin chips. Let me know if you guys want to see the pumpkin chips. All right. Do you want to see the pumpkin chips? Please let me know if you want to see the pumpkin chips. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, we're going to show you the pumpkin chips, then. All right, see just to say pumpkin juice, please. Oh, I did a lot of pumpkin juice already. Yeah, man. All right, we got a few more minutes left on it. Fish coming on lovely and nice with a lot of liquid. That's good. Good vibes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, the pumpkin chips is coming on good, man. I want to, I'm going to show you something, guys. And you guys can do this at home. Trust me. Pumpkin chips. You guys can make this at home. Brand new recipe. Get yourself a copy of the book in the meantime, guys, because the price is going down today. All right, fifty percent off. It's back to school, you know, and you know, what I mean, we have to create some things. I'm supporting the parents and back to school at the moment, so you know, what I mean, all of the parents them who are doing back to school at the moment. Know them of the shop man i get things done we are supporting the parents 
back to school, all right? Yeah, back to school. Back to school, ready? We are getting ready for back to school with, for the parents them at the moment. All right, here it is. Let's put this right here. Um, a good vibes. All right, pumpkin chips is ready. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're going to serve up the pumpkin chips. All right, so this is the pumpkin chips right here. All right, yeah man, pumpkin chips. And you can even get them crispier if you like to. So don't waste your pumpkin this time of the year, guys. All right? Do something destructive with the pumpkin chips. Yeah, pumpkin chips. Look at that. All right, and this is your favorite fish right here. All right, we don't want to overcook the fish. And that's why I remove it. All right, this is a fish. Look at this. <laughs> My gosh. Mm. yeah man look at that all right you see that's what i'm talking about that is just amazing and fantastic all right pumpkin chips right here with some codfish you can put some salad or whatever you like to put on it all right a good vibes anyway we now gonna keep on it too long because the show gone over about an hour oh, now. But I was doing so many things one time just to keep you guys active. All right. And that's what I'm all, all about right now. Chef Art, dig up yourself. Pumpkin chips from Chef Ricardo with um some codfish. Simple, easy, and quick. So you guys can do at home. It doesn't complicated, it doesn't hard. It's not a rocky science. You can do this at home. All right, Mr. Stevie, big up yourself. Thank you so much for sharing the appreciation, love over here, and keep it going on 100%. Michelle, big up yourself. All right, that's what I'm talking about. This is the pumpkin chips. Mm -hmm. Nice and lovely. All right, and you guys can do this at home. And the pumpkin is sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that is uh, amazing 100 ah i think that one is really spicy and nice all right yeah man a good vibes it's all about the energy guys all right and this one is a brand new recipe from out of the box all right yeah 
So if you guys want to make this one at home, trust me. You can, oh, oops. You guys can do this one at home. Any time of the year, any time of the day. Yeah. All right. Now, because I'm Rick. I'm recording it also, you know, guys. That mean that mean you guys can have this at home. All right. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. They got my Instagram and my TikTok. Thank you so much. <laughs> New she's just big up herself. I love her and Michelle, big up herself. Thank you so much. Looking nice. I appreciate it. All right. Laverne, Michelle, big up yourself now. Now don't worry yourself. Everything is good, Michelle. Appreciate it. You learn something new every day. You know what I mean? I never too old to learn. And I saw it go. Pumpkin chips, anything you can make at home. You just have to be creative. All right. Big up my um, TikTok audience. I appreciate you guys over there 100%. All right. Looking nice. Appreciate it. Um, Chef Art, big up yourself. And all the other rest of people who are there tune in. All right. Yeah. Um, big up my Facebook audience. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. David, big up yourself, man. Appreciate it 100 percent All right, guys. I have to close the show now because it's a long episode. All right. Have a beautiful evening. And I'll see you next time. With more recipe. All right. Love you, Michelle. Big up yourself. Craig, big up yourself. See Jackson and I building on Lucius as TV. Big up yourself. All right. Yeah, man. Dinner is served. <laughs> C24. Big up yourself. All right. Sooner next time. A good vibes.